I'm back with another video for you today, and today we're going to discuss how to pack fragrances for when you're traveling. So please stay tuned. So recently I got back from uh, Europe. I traveled to several different countries, and uh, I brought back a bunch of fragrances. And a lot of folks have been asking me since the previous years of travels I've done, to make a video to show how to pack fragrances. So I buy a lot of fragrances and I've got whatever I bought with me right next to me here. And a lot of people want to know how do I travel with these fragrances and what I do to protect them from spillage and breakage and things like that. So come along and then we'll discuss exactly how I do this. So here we go guys. Um, I've got my suitcase here. I've left a, some of the clothing in there and um, it's a bit messy, but the reason I left it in like this is because to show you what exactly I do with uh, the fragrances that I buy and, you know, come back with from Europe. So I, I travel during the winter time a lot and I wear sweaters during that time. So these sweaters come in really handy to packing the fragrances up. And of course, I also use socks and I also use shoes to pack the fragrances. And most importantly, it's the sweaters. So I pretty much lay down one sweater in the bottom of the suitcase, like this. And then I start getting boxes of fragrances and I start using the sweater as a cushion or a shield. So here we got one big box and then we also have another one right there. And then I pretty much start you know, putting them together kind of sort of tightly and then just filling it up and covering it up with the sweater or any other kinds of cushions I have. Most importantly right now is to just fill this up with several of the fragrances that I have and, and then cover it up with the sweater and then also couple more cushions on top. I don't mind putting two or three fragrances on top of one another, uh, but uh, if you're concerned about that, you can also do something like taking other clothing garments and wrapping some of the other fragrances up and then putting it on top of uh, two, another fragrance if that kind of concerns you. But I do, I do things like that so that if there's two or three on top of one another, I, I know that they're not going to break or anything damage-wise will happen to them. So this is kind of getting full here. And I'll show you exactly what I'll do to cover it all up. Some more here. And... Um, pretty full right now. So this one is actually pretty decently full and um, I'll seal it up. If there's any more room to throw in anything else, at this time I might put more in, but um, I'm not concerned about damaging this particular packaging. But if you are, then you might want to wrap it up better. And then basically, this side is done. Now as far as shoes go, and smaller bottles, I stuff little bottles inside shoes, and then I also stuff socks in there, just to prevent one fragrance from rubbing against another one to cause it from breaking. So there's this, this particular shoe has two bottles. Then I also put it in a bag like this. And then I move on to the next one. I've got socks in this. I can stuff the, the shoe with little bottles and I'm not going to be concerned about them breaking because they're pretty much sealed up with 
the cushion of the socks that I'm taking with me. Last but not least, this one actually has now four bottles, four small bottles. And then I'll end up putting this inside this right here. And then basically that goes in like that. And then now we have another sweater here. This is a brand new suitcase, so I haven't really cleaned it out yet. But for more cushion, I will put more bottles in here, or boxes I should say. Sometimes I also use pans to wrap fragrance packages just to make sure there's you know enough cushion but I have to organize this a little better and then if you have shirts laying around then use those as cushions as well just to make sure your purchases that are really expensive are you know really nicely packed Any little hats, you can also stuff fragrances inside. And this is almost getting full here. I've got a few more boxes, but just to let you know, I didn't use one suitcase for this particular haul from Europe. I used uh, two different suitcases. But for showing you, or to show you, I'm using as much as I can fit inside. And that's pretty much it. It's just cushioned really nicely with sweaters and Voila, the suitcase is ready to go. Now this is probably my third or fourth haul I'm bringing back from Europe, and I've never had any damages or anything. I haven't had any problems come up at the airport. I basically claim all the fragrances that I bought and all that good stuff, and I get through, and it's all fine. Never had any breakage. The only thing I've had once happen is some leakage, but that's because of the bottles themselves that were very inexpensive and just in transit they leaked, but never had any bottles break on me, which is awesome. I don't want any breakage or anything like that, but as I said, the only problem was because the leakage happened for like a $8 or 8 euro bottle of fragrance, and I guess the, the fragrance cap where the atomizer sits was not tight enough, so they just leaked out of the bottle, which is really nothing really bad because all the expensive niche perfumes that I brought back, never had any problems with it. So that's pretty much it. That's how I pack my fragrances when I come back from Europe. And that's pretty much what you should do. I usually end up taking an extra little carry-on bag so that if I know I'm gonna be buying a lot of fragrances, I use that to pack with the sweaters and then I'll turn it in into the flight and um, they'll you know be delivered safely with my other suitcases when I'm coming back. This time I actually ended up buying a brand new suitcase. I knew I was going to bring back a bunch of fragrances and somehow this suitcase ended up with, as a deal and I just picked it up and I stuffed it in with my fragrances and I'm back here now to enjoy all the great fragrances that I brought back with me. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know your thoughts, questions or comments. If you have any, please list below. Let me know what you think. Is this what you do when you travel also? Or do you even bring back any fragrances when you go to Europe or wherever fragrances are sold? Let me know your thoughts and uh, comments about what you do when you travel and buy fragrances. Also, please like this video, share it, and uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be back with more videos very soon. All right, guys. See you all later. Have a good one. Goodbye.